Hi, Alan Stratton from Eswood Turns. Many times when I'm doing segmented work, I race through the process of making a ring. I decided since I've actually evolved my process to a new state to actually dedicate this video to the process of making a ring, a complete ring from scratch. Now, I have to give credit where credit is due on this. This is going to be dramatically different from what you typically see where people will roll up a set of segments into a ring. Because this process that is borrowed from Pattern Maker that I met in Oregon actually is self-correcting to give us a ring without the hassle and the precision that is required in many other instances. And since it's self-correcting, it is also very quick and easy. So first and foremost in this process is a good segment sled. I use this on the table saw. I recommend a table saw for this uh, because it's much safer in my opinion than a chop saw. But with this then you set the two bars to be the appropriate angle and then use it on the table saw. Now this is the newer model that I am using. It is using Universal T-Track. Uh, it is about 16 by 12. Universal T-Track gives you two tracks in here so that these bars, these arms, are very adjustable on this as opposed to the other model that I used to use. Both are equivalent in terms of being able to make a, a good segment. However, this one is a little bit more versatile for other uses that I might dream up. To set this sled, I use a template for an angle. Uh, this is one that I've designed for 3D printing. I will make this available on a print, uh, 3D printing share site. Uh, check the description down below for that so that if you have access to a 3D printer you can print your own uh, and you can find those often in maker spaces in public libraries or such. But which works, what works almost as well since this process is self-correcting is a digital angle uh, guide and so uh, either way works just as well and you may find this one to be more versatile. Another thing that is critical to this process is a, a saw throat insert. Uh, you make this uh, yourself to fit your saw, and so it has to be custom to your saw. It's easily made because the only thing that is critical is that it fits inside the throat place. And then you add a piece here so that a segment, when it is cut, falls off. You may want to note that there are videos out on the on the internet where they say, well, you don't need this, just I'm going to extend the sled to the other side. Well, they missed the whole point that having a segment fall off and away from the blade is very important in here. Because if your segment accidentally contacts your blade, if it doesn't fall away, then it goes zing across the shop gets a nick and is generally unusable so it's not worth going to find. So uh, this uh, throat insert is very important. Uh, the only critical thing is that it fit and that not be proud. So just then just add the fall away part. Then to gauge the length of a segment I use a simple uh, depth gauge that I clamp to my rip fence. It is adjustable also if by chance I'm not happy with my rip fence or you uh, uh, but uh, still I rarely take it apart and adjust it I just use my rip fence so with these I think I'm able to cut and make a perfect segment or a, a ring in very short order and actually uh, the part that's borrowed from the pattern maker is the rub joint where I use less glue and it actually gives me a chance to inspect each joint and bring it to completeness very, very quickly. So I'll show you all this in this video and I hope that you can then enjoy segmenting also. Task one is already completed. That is using a segment angle template to set the arms at the correct angle. Task two is to set the length top. For this, I mark the length on the wood that already has the opposite side cut at the correct angle. I mark the wood because measuring the distance between the length stop and the saw blade would introduce cosine error. You can search for details on cosine error on your own. 
After aligning the blade and my mark, I cut the first segment. I could measure and check the result and readjust if necessary. It was not necessary this time. At the completion of each cut, I move the sled back and adjust the wood to the opposite alignment arm. Then gently press the long point against the length stop, then check where my fingers are before making the next cut. I have used a chop saw in the past to cut segments with a full set of jigs. However, even then my fingers and hands are in very close proximity to the saw blade, I much prefer the table saw and sliding table. My blade is a sharp 80 tooth blade from a big box store. It cuts smoothly enough that I do not need to sand. Others of my associates also use a clamp to help hold the wood. With the overall process that I am demonstrating in this video, I do not need to take the extra time for each segment to engage and disengage a clamp. Since this is for a 12 segment ring, I cut all 12 and only 12 before moving to glue them together. Since I have never had a project with a single ring, yeah, I will be back shortly. When 12 segments are complete, I stack them into two groups, both with squiggle marks on the top. One group has side squiggles on the long side. The other group has side squiggles on the short side. While stacking them, I am rubbing each side to knock off any crumbs and to inspect each segment. Then spread glue on one side of the segment from one pile and rub it against the corresponding opposite side from the other pile. This ensures complete glue coverage. Then place it down on the parchment covered board and rub the two segments together. Rubbing them together gets rid of excess glue and triggers the glue to grab. The grab is when the glue starts to resist my hand movement. Then ensure the long points are aligned and set the pair aside on the parchment paper. While the sled also can work by aligning the wood to the operator side of the top arm and the far side of the near arm and not having to lift the board over the upper arm, I prefer to use the far side of each. This means that the saw blade will be putting pressure on the board in the same direction as I am holding it. Otherwise, it would be pushing the wood away against me. Safety is important. I do not have a guard for my sled. Instead, I am counting on two things. One, my saw is a saw stop that will almost instantaneously stop the blade if it senses contact with my flesh. And two, I am totally focused on that saw blade while the saw is running. When I lift my little finger, that is my signal to push the sled through the cut. If you do not have a saw stop, make a guard and use it. I use parchment paper since glue does not stick permanently to it and it is disposable. Wax paper is another alternative, but it may leave a wax residue. While how fast glue sets is temperature dependent, as soon as I have six pairs of segments glued, I can usually move on to the same process to glue two pairs together and then the third pairs to the quadruplets when this is complete, I have two half rings. At this point, I usually move on to cutting the next set of segments for the next ring. This gives the glue time to set a little more. However, I can easily handle the half rings as long as I am gentle. After gluing the next ring's worth of segments into half rings, I can take the earlier half rings to the disc sander. With a pencil, I make witness marks on the surfaces that will need to come together. Usually, I lightly sand the back side of the half ring to ensure the rings lie flat on the sanding table. Then sand the faces until the witness marks disappear. Then back to the gluing table to use the same rub technique to join the halves together. A little bit of glue on one side, then rub them together the same as before until the glue grabs. Then set them aside, probably for an hour, before taking any additional actions. Usually, I have other rings to cut and to glue together. The whole process goes pretty quickly. The process is self-correcting and does not require extension precision milling of my stock. With that, we've now described the sled, and using the sled, using the other apparatus, and how to glue segments together very quickly and self in a process that is self-correcting so that 
Val, you can have some fun too. Uh, enjoy.